Welcome everyone. I'm so happy to have you here. Joining me today is Sally Hart. How are you, Sally? I'm really well, Amy. How are you? I'm well, thank you. I'm excited that you're here with me today and I'm excited to share a little bit more around your business journey and the journey that you've taken uh, using LinkedIn in your business as well. Um, so for those that are coming across you for the first time, Sally is the founder of Clever Closet Company and she has been featured in Forbes, also featured in On The House. And uh, she has worked with some of the top designers in the industry, like Deborah Hutton. So thank you so much for joining me today, Sally. It's great to have you here. It's just a pleasure to be with you, Amy. Awesome. I'm really curious and interested to dive in a little bit more around your business journey and, and what has sort of led you to where you are today, because uh, you're a bit of a powerhouse in the space. <laughs> whether you want to believe it or not, but I know the work that you do for your clients and I know the standard of work that you produce and it's just incredible. So tell us a little bit about, you know, how you first got started doing what you're doing and, and maybe sort of share who you help and how you help them. Okay. Thanks very much, Amy. It's really sweet of you. Um, well, a long time ago, um, came out of nursing, which um, I really enjoyed, but uh, it was just a little bit too bureaucratic for me. So I wanted to break out. Um, so I just took the very first job that would take me that didn't have any other qualification. And that happened to be what I thought was a step-in job, which was working for a wardrobe company. And you got the job if you could hold a tape measure. That's how much requirement, <laughs> how much qualification I needed to have. So yeah. I passed that test. And I thought it was going to, you know, just be a stepping stone. But it turned out I really loved it because, um, uh, you know, it doesn't seem very technical and it, it really isn't particularly technical. It's not like you're, you know, saving anyone's life. But the satisfaction that people get when they have their problems solved, um, it, th I think that their pleasure in that made me feel really great. Um, so, yeah, it's, uh, it, all those years ago, started that and, and, you know, obviously did quite well with it. It's that connecting with people and solving the problem. And then I thought, no, I do like it. So I went into business with a cabinet maker. We started our own business, which was Clever Closet Company all those years back. Yeah. And um, uh, built up a quite a business through working with architects because there wasn't anyone at that time that was doing the bespoke thing that clients, um, you know, were looking for that wanted something more than the stock standard stuff. So, yeah, fast forward a long way, stopped for a while, had my children, came back into it, you know, like about 10, 12 years ago. Mm -hmm. um, and, um, yeah, it's just sort of totally different when you, when you come back into it working off the internet rather than working your way through the phone book to connect with people. Yeah. So nowadays I um, basically would love to work with more architects. I've just, uh, that's what I'd really like to be doing through LinkedIn um, and builders. But I've had the pleasure of now with, with an internet, the clients sort of come directly to me. So I haven't really been doing too much of that. So most of my clients have been direct clients coming to me anyone from, you know, like a fairly standard sort of home to, you know, quite a luxurious home. They're the sort of people I work with, people who really appreciate design, um, who appreciate sort of professionalism and who just, you know, want their needs met um, for a, from a full design service. Yeah, amazing. And uh, fitting in as many shoes as you can in cupboards is pretty yeah. important these days. So you do a great job of that. <laughs> Yeah, thanks, Amy. <laughs> yeah, brilliant. No, it's awesome. And what I love about your journey is, you know, your business has stood the test of time and you've yeah. really looked at, you know, reinventing yourself and looking at new ways to continue to grow, which I think yeah. is super important in business as well. And I guess sort of with the stage that you're at and I guess when we started to talk and we started to connect and, you know, what were some of the, the challenges and the problems you were facing? You kind of mentioned the the offline world versus the online world there. So what were some of the things going on for you at that stage? Uh, well, I think, like I said, you know, like, I mean, I sort of, you know, reinvigorated the business after a break um, and hadn't done any of the online stuff at all. So it was a, a chasm of time difference between first setup and second setup. Yeah. And yeah, unbeknownst to me, yeah, it gets going quite quickly when you've got a website and all that sort of thing. So mm -hmm. I didn't really get into learning a lot of the stuff. It just sort of took off on its own. But then, you know, um, having met yourself and you're, you're, I was aware, people are always saying about brand awareness and I, I knew about LinkedIn. I'd done some business courses probably, well, I don't know, three, four, five years ago. And um, the LinkedIn arena seemed appealing to me because it's quite professional because I am absolutely unfortunately 
not comfortable with social media. It's just not my language. So I do it very reluctantly and very, very poorly. And I don't like doing things poorly. So I sort of stick away from it. LinkedIn seemed like something that was like, oh, that sounds good, but I don't want to go in there and kind of make a fool of myself because it's a bit more professional. So I just did the thing of staying away from it altogether. <laughs> yeah. And um, anyway, then, yeah, came across came across you via um, some, a mutual connection that we have and thought, you know what, it's time I did that. Um, so it's probably time for you to talk. You can ask me other questions about it because obviously I learned a lot. <laughs> no, that's great. And I love um, the fact that you did just sort of dive straight into it, even though, you know, to quote you, you said don't like social media. And that's a big thing as well, because I, what I find is, you know, with a, a lot of people that I work with, they're very, very skillful in their area of delivery um, and the service they provide, whether they be a coach, consultant, or, or like yourself, a more professional service um, delivery. And then when it comes to the marketing side and the sales side, it's a whole new world, right? And it's not really um, either your genius zone or it's not really what you're driven to want to do <laughs> as well. But to yeah. have a sustainable business, it's one of those things that has to happen. Yeah, well, I think the thing is, yeah, you don't want to get lazy in business, you know. Um, I think that's the thing is any business that continues, you know, it's not enough to just go, oh, look, I'm smoothie, I'm carrying along pretty well, pretty comfy. It's like, no, time to do something new and different. And and COVID is a, was for me a perfect time to do that because it's that time to kind of tick off all those things on the list that you're like, I know I should be doing that, but I'm busy. I'm not sure. Now I, I could do it. So you know, I saw that opportunity to take up your course and I had you had been referred to me and I knew you'd got results for other people. And I think that that, um, for me, I mean, I think a lot of people in business, there are, let's just say, a lot of people out there that are a little bit like not far short of charlatans. And we don't, you know, like you do it, you, you buy into something, you try it and you go, oh, that was not so great. So I also got to the point where I thought, look, I'm not doing any of those courses anymore. They're just, by the time you invest the time and the money, you don't get anything out of it it's a pain but because you've been highly recommended I knew you got really great results and and you're just a nice person that matters a lot I think um so uh I thought yeah I'll jump on that course and it's been it's it's just been exactly what I needed um you know because if, if you're a person that's not familiar with the forum or the, or the platform um it's understanding the, the the right sort of um cult understanding what the culture is yeah, absolutely. And what were some of those things that you learned, Sally? What were what were the big sort of aha moments or maybe things that you potentially didn't expect when you first got one, th one thing that really stood out that it was an aha moment for me was that you explained that um, LinkedIn is not about me as a business owner. It's about my clients. Mm -hmm. And when you said that, I was like, oh, that's great because that was probably what it should be with all social media, but it's probably why I don't like I don't feel comfortable in social media because it feels like bragging. Mm -hmm. And I know people who do it well don't do that, but I haven't got the language for how do I kind of go, this is what I do without going, oh, look what, this is what I do. Me, um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. It's just if it's not what you've grown up with, you don't know how to do it. So you explained that it's actually, it's about your client. And I thought, oh, well, I'm all about my client, I hope. Yeah. Um, and so I need that, that is much easier for me to think, well, what would my client want to know? you know how what do they need to know and what do they not know and then you know so you you sort of gave me that sort of um outward vision um of of what the correct content would be um and also you know you clearly articulated that um you know it it's you made it unintimidating um not that it should be terribly intimidating but it's you know it's professional so that you can still have your personality um, but, uh, you know, people are going to remember that, but what I've found is through doing what you've done, like my understanding of what you've done is that I feel completely comfortable there. And I did do my first post and it was really lovely. Thank you to all those people that responded. That was really lovely. Um, what, what happened when you did that first post, Sally? I'm curious. To know. <laughs> well, you told me, having said this, this is how bad I am on social media. I have had that video of Deborah Hutton, which people think, you know, that should be a big deal. I haven't had that posted anywhere. I, I had it on Facebook because it's like, oh, I don't really know what to do with it. Um, and you pointed out that those are really great assets. They're just sitting there. You're not doing anything with them. So I worked out eventually how to 
log into my YouTube account and you said that was easy and I did think it was easy. Um, linked it through to my LinkedIn and then just thought, well, you know what, I'm just going to be honest because that's all I've got. And this go, okay, I'm new here. I've had nothing. Well, I haven't had nothing to do, but it's COVID time. I can put up a post. I'm new to LinkedIn. This is what I've been learning. And, you know, it was just so lovely. Um, I, don't, I don't know. Look, I don't know. I saw that like quite a few hundred people saw it yeah. and um, a few, uh, quite no, a few people commented. But what was really lovely was, um, you know, one of my clients um, who I haven't, who I did work for a couple of years ago, yeah. just went on and said, I love what you did for Deborah Hutton, Sally. I love what you did for me. Um, and I'd be happy to do a recommendation for you. And I thought, wow, that's so close, you know, because um, I, as I said, I'm crappy at the other social media, but you, I don't get that response there. No. Um, I thought this is actually a community of people who are genuinely interested in what you're doing as a business person because they're also professional people and business people. And it feels like I, I'm feeling really comfortable there. I'm feeling like it's a welcome club rather than a competitive sort of situation. And I think that's what I'm quite liking. But I don't, you know, I, I wouldn't have got there without you. You've explained how to do the the headline thing. Yeah, <laughs> Which took me a lot of homework, I have to say. <laughs> quite a lot of editing uh, required. Had to learn. Right. Had, yeah. had to learn what the amp, where the ampersands go and how to save space and all that sort of thing. But you had all that down pat. Um, yeah. That's great. And you've openly admitted to me, Sally, that you don't consider yourself the most technical person. So <laughs> like, I still, look, I had to go to the shop and buy these things, you know, and I get, I couldn't even get the wireless ones because it's kind of just like, oh, well, I got this close, this close to yeah. getting up to date. And I had to come to someone else's house to do the video because my internet's so crap. So yes, um, there we some go. people kind of say I'm um, a little bit Amish so and that's probably not too far from the, the truth so yes I needed um yeah I, I I'm I'd say I'm not far off being as low tech as you can possibly be I've learned the technology I need to learn I um, you know I do pretty well with what I've had to learn for my business mm. but this stuff for anyone who's uncomfortable out there about oh you don't know how to do it well um no um I don't either Amy makes it extremely easy and she's you know like Amy you just you know Look, it's not just that you make it easy, but you really are a terrific wordsmith. I mean, I'm not bad at writing and putting words together, yeah. but you were fantastic at drawing out the points that need to be said mm -hmm. um, to, that are the really relevant. Um, so, yeah, it, it's a really good combination that you have of making people feel comfortable with you'll meet them at, as you say, you'll meet you at your level, mm -hmm. um, which is what you did. And, you know, um, everyone's going to have their strengths and weaknesses and you seem to be able to adapt beautifully to those. Yeah, and it's completely normal to not feel technical <laughs> in yeah. this area, so that's absolutely fine. But I think it's important for people to know that, you know, LinkedIn is something that is achievable if you don't consider yourself a real techie person because, you know, once you sort of understand the rules of the game like you have now, then it does make it, you know, really easy for you to feel comfortable on the platform now that you have that understanding, like just to be able to take it and now run with it in your business. Yeah, I, I have to say, and it's quite surprising, that I actually like it. I, I actually, you know, you told me I need to get on each day. I, I almost do that. Um, and um, where I wouldn't with other stuff. I, I just, you know, so this is actually, it, it's a, it just feels like a cleaner kind of place to be, cutting to the chase and um, about a really quite a pleasant sort of atmosphere. So I hope it stays that way. But yeah, I'm glad you've introduced me to it. Absolutely. And how do you see LinkedIn now fitting in with your business? Like if we look at your business and your, you know, wider strategy or your sales, your marketing, like how do you see LinkedIn really playing in and supporting you in that moving forward? I think that that's the whole point. It's There's no point investing that amount of time in something unless it's going to return. And I have to see it come to fruition yet, but I don't expect it's going to happen in an instant. Mm -hmm. But I definitely see it as a place that I can target the people who will will you know be the kind of clients I used to have before that would be ongoing referrals um, and that type of thing like builders and architects um, so it, you know and I can see how quickly you can develop that uh, reputation because there's already quite a few clients of mine on there who you know that whole connection thing there's sort of a little bit of a verification so 
you know, you have some um, sort of credibility reasonably quickly, I think. Yeah. Um, and, you know, and also that, that sort of professional connection of like, okay, I get you, you get me, let's, let's just, you know, do that business thing together. So mm-hmm. that's what I see it as, is, pretend, is really building that whole other arm that I really just haven't got onto yet because I've been busy doing the client to client stuff. Yeah. Um, and and I'm, I'm looking forward to that. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. And so you're finding that it's, it's going to be something that can give you that steady flow of clients coming through and referrals through different partnerships and things. You can see the potential in there now. Yeah, definitely. I see that. And it's, it's, it's just different work. Like it's nice to work. It's lovely to work with other designers and other architects. It's really, of course, it's really lovely to work with all of my clients that come through, but there you do that work. It's done. And you generally don't see them again if you've done a good job, which is always a little bit sad. It's sort of like, oh, sorry, it's done and it's lovely you're happy and now we won't see each other. But, yeah. you know, building those relationships long term with architects, designers and builders, um, you know, it's like the guys, you know, who do work for me, my suppliers. We have long-term relationships. And when you work as an individual designer, I'm pretty happy being on my own. I'm really content. But you don't have that continuity because it's in and out and in and out. So, I'm looking forward to that kind of relationship thing too, where you sort of see people over the years and keep connections, Um, which is, of course, a nice way to work as well because you get to know each other and it's it's efficient. So that efficiency is obviously very appealing from a business point of view as well. So I think one of the the challenges that I see with a lot of people as well is that, you know, they can feel like there's just a lot to do in business, right? And so there's just always all of these different moving parts. And so I guess you know having LinkedIn now in a bit of a, a system and knowing that you know you can hand that off to someone else eventually to to run that yeah. and, and hire within your business like how does that make you feel at the moment if you think about your future goals well, and your ability to to hit those sorry we broke up a little bit but yes and actually while you were just before you even said that I don't know I think we talked about this but um I'm looking at and, and you also you know would, would recommend this that I'll be bringing somebody in mainly to do my other social media because I still think, and it, it's a lovely connection that I've got there with someone who, who it's a nice reason to do it. Yeah. Um, but uh, yes, that you can outsource it and not, uh, but the point is, is that it needs to be still authentic. You know, obviously my business is extremely personal. So you can, you know, you can sort of outsource certain parts of it if you, if you want to, and even if that's just in the planning or, like, you know, the girl that I'll bring in, she does speak the language. She does know what emojis are and, um, <laughs> and you can make sure we don't do dumb stuff too often. <laughs> yeah, so you can have a, a team member now that can run this system for you. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, you were also great at that because, you know, you know, you know how that works and you could give me some indication Yeah, because we did talk about that and you could immediately go, well, you know, here is sort of like what you could get for this kind of money, this kind of outlay and, you know, what would be realistic expectations. You had a great, you know, overview of all of that sort of stuff. Yeah. Um, Yeah. Awesome. So what would you say, Sally, if there was someone sort of in your shoes a little while ago where they've maybe hit... um, maybe a level of comfort in their business and they're just looking to take it to the next level and they do kind of think that LinkedIn might be a good avenue for them. Um, what would you recommend having knowing what you know now? Well, of course, I would tell them to come and talk to you, Amy. But, I mean, it's not just, I mean, it's true. I, and, and I wouldn't say that if I didn't mean it. Um, I think that for anyone, as you describe, who has got their business to a certain level, then they're obviously making enough money that they can make an investment. It's not a crazy investment. It's a worthwhile investment. And I like the fact that it's it's succinct as well. Like that was all I needed. And I think that's very appealing. The other thing that's really appealing about it um, for someone literally like me is it's like, okay, it's five weeks, commit to that. Amy's going to get me to the point where I'm where I'm ready to go at that point. I don't want to do something where I've got to do a whole lot of homework and, you know, I mean, I would if I really needed to, but for me that was what was great. It was like in five weeks I could get from, I think this is the thing for most people or certainly for me, mm. getting that profile, we hope it looks great to anyone who's watching because it's not going to look good if it doesn't, but getting Absolutely. that. Absolutely, go and check it out, by the way, Sally Hart, <laughs> go and connect. But, I think that for a lot of people, that's an intimidating thing to do because it's like, well, I don't know what to say about me. Like, and you were very good about that because I, there is a lot to that about you know the way you had that sort of idea of 
you know, what part one, part two, whatever that is. Mm-hmm. And there's a there's a whole strategy behind that. And, you know, we worked hard on that for a lot of the right reasons. Mm-hmm. Um, I just don't think you're going to know that unless you get you, you get that instruction. And then, as I said to you, it's a bit like, you know, I'm going to get my school uniform. You know, you're going to get me all dressed up with my hat and my business yeah. on and all that sort of stuff, and, you know, ready for school. And now Amy's oh, packed me up. I'm ready to go. And basically yeah. five weeks of training and, you know, I didn't have any holes in my stockings and I'm ready to go. <laughs> but it's nice. It's I'm a pretty nice fast, six. fast action kind of girl. So we just, yep. you know, we get stuck into the good stuff and we don't worry about the stuff you don't need. Yep, yep, yep. It was really efficient um, and, and definitely achieved what we wanted. So that I would recommend it to anybody from that point of view. Yeah, brilliant. Well, I absolutely love the work that you do, Sally. I, I can't Thanks, recommend you highly enough in terms of the, the skill and capabilities you have in, in your area of expertise. And so where can people go and find you um, if they want to connect with you further and if they want to learn a little bit more about you? Now, be careful how you answer this. <laughs> well, I'm laughing because we can prove that I'm not very good with technical stuff because my answer will be my, my website is good but I don't know how to update it. So it's a little out of date. So the best place to see my work is um, on Hows, H-O-U-Z-Z, because I do know how to put the photos up there. And so it's got a lot of really nice, and that's got 70 reviews, which um, thanks to my clients, they're all really nice. Um, But probably I should be saying go to my website and I'm hoping we'll get to that, you know, I'll get to that at some point. So everyone still says it's fine, but, you know, for me, none of my new stuff's up there. So well, I think you can give me high achiever, Sally. It's always there's always another level, so I get where you're coming from there. <laughs> and of course, I'll be connect. You can connect with me on LinkedIn now, so um, that must that must have a link through to my website. I presume you would know that. I don't know. <laughs> we did work on that, Sally. <laughs> okay. So anywhere, I wouldn't be doing my job if it didn't. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, you can do that. There's probably a phone number. You're welcome to give me a call too. <laughs> yeah brilliant well thank you so much for sharing uh your experiences sally it's been an absolute dream and a pleasure to work with you um i just think you're fantastic at what you do and i can't wait to see you fly even further in your business thanks amy same goes for me to you you've been brilliant to work with